Hello everyone, it is me, Dub Devil, and also known as Q, still trying to sort that out right now. But I am back with the amazing, really, really, really getting good visual novel of Everlasting Summer. This is part, I would say, six of the series, and it's really, really getting good. Last time we talked to Luna, and I think we made her a little bit uncomfortable, but then we started wandering around and went to Olga. You know, we disrespect her a few times because our guy is really like that person. It's just disrespect and just like firing like he could be firing shots also. He could be, but who knows. Um also, this is where we left off. Uh, our guy doesn't look the same anymore. If you remember from the beginning of the story or the beginning of the first um part he had like you know a scruffy beard he had longer hair and now he is a teenager again i guess so this is where we left off and let's continue it's really getting good guys it's, it's gonna it's gonna get even more good at this point i'm loving it so far it's really fun it's really good i resembled he resembled me but he wasn't me where did the weeks Weak stuff will go. Where were the bags under my eyes? The slouch, that deathly fig, fig, wait, figure, fig, fat face. Oh my God, my words suck. It seemed that I had not been thrown back in time or into a parallel reality, but instead, he s had simply changed bodies with someone else. Oh. So it's not time, or, or, uh, reality, paranormal reality, it's just, switch bodies, so someone switch bodies with him, or someone put him in another body, I don't, alright, whatever, right, that's real simple, such things happen ev every day, I took a closer look at the stranger, and only then I realized that it, actually was me, so it is back in the past. It just wasn't today's me, maybe the one from between my school and university years. Well, at least so that's something. There you go. The person in the extreme situation did fail to notice the elephant in the room after all. But the camp leader noticed it, and, and last night she told me off for addressing her without proper respect. Ah, screw that! I doubt my appearance affects anything else. If the clock was not lying, breakfast was long was long over. Oh well, I'll find I'll try to find something in the canteen. It worked out well yesterday with Sylvia, Sylvia didn't it? Those memories made me smile into volun into voluntarily involuntarily God. reading. Please. It is like what, two or three something in the morning? Please just, just read right. Just read right. Also, I have a I have another theory. This could be this could be a way of life telling this guy that he's giving an getting another chance at life. Like, since he said, oh, my days were horrible, it, every, every day was, like, it sucked, it sucked even more and more, I didn't, like, I felt like I didn't, I was taking someone's job away, but I was getting paid decently, and I was on chat forums. I think this is the way of just life telling him, like, yo, dude, yeah, I know you had a bad life, but here, but here, I'm gonna give you a second chance at life, and so, I'm gonna make you go back in time. And then, you know, set you upon this little campground and see how you react with the locals. And when everything is done, and when you get out, let's see if you're still the same person at that point. If you're the same person, then the test failed. If you're not test, but like, I would say life training failed. If you come back a different person, then it worked. Then your life will be good again. And then you'll, you know, go back to your everyday life. You'll have 
you know, speak to your friends, you'll have, you'll probably have a girl, you know, probably have a happy family at that point. That's all I, that's my theory, but who knows. The sun was shining brightly outside. A light breeze was blowing. A beautiful summer day. I had, I had not felt so good in the morning for several years. All problems were gone, vanished into the, into the clouds that were white as snow. Olga came out from nowhere. Good morning, Simon. Morning. I smiled, doing my best to show that no matter what, my morning was indeed good. You only arrived yesterday, so I decided not to wake you up but breakfast. Never mind. Here, take this. She handed me something wrapped in paper. Oh, did she give me breakfast? Judging by the oily stains, they said, Aww! Oh, that's nice! There had to be sandwiches inside. Oh, thank you. Now, go wash yourself. I was about to leave. Wait a second. Hmm? Olga quickly ran into the house and came out to shove a small bag into my hands. Inside it, I found a toothbrush, soap, a small towel, and something else. I did not look too closely. A pioneer should always be clean and tidy. Let me do your neckerchief probably this first time. Yours is askew. You should do it yourself once you learn how to. Do we have to? Do we have to? I am going to wash myself now. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. It could get hooked on the ta the tap and strangle me. Jesus Christ, that got dark. I was like, all all right then. I mean, like, it it could it could also do that, but it's highly it's it's not that it's highly likely that I'll do that though. Fine, fine. Later then. And don't forget about the lineup. Pen pencils, paper, drawing lines. You don't forget such things. What lineup? Wait, what lineup? Oh. What do you mean, what lineup? She frowned. It's Monday today. Oh, oh, okay. Roll call, I mean? Like, that could be, that could be another thing. Roll call. Weird by my approximation, it should have been Sunday. Hmm, could have been. Then again, a shift in the day of the week is hardly the worst thing. Usually we have lineups early in the morning before breakfast, but it's Monday today, so we, so we are having it at 12 o'clock. Don't be late. Alright, but where? At the square. Where else? There was no reason to argue. I I headed to the bath, bathing place, bathing place, I mean. I knew I could forget about separate showers and toilet, but at the sight of this male, maleficating symptom, or, okay, of decaying socialism, a funny turtle with a small shell paw taps in Simon, wait, what? Simon belly. I felt sick. Okay. I was not. I was not squeamish. I was not a squeamish person. But nevertheless, standing there, I realized that there was still some minimal level of habitable comfort, which I found it troublesome to do without. It's often like that when you lose things that you thought were ordinary and common, you suddenly understand just how essential they were. Ah, screw this, as if I had any choice. Oh. The water was ice cold. Uh, I wouldn't like that, I, would, I hate that. While washing my hands, 
was not an issue, washing my face and my mouth became a big problem. There was no toothpaste in the bag which Olga gave me. I could brush my teeth without without it, but there were there was a small round box wrapped in the towel in the towel. Tooth powder? I never I never heard of that. I never heard of tooth powder. Is that toothpaste but in powder form? Well, it wouldn't make sense. Duh, genuine goddamn. Um cute. <laughs> cute. One point uh for me being somewhere in the past. I washed myself quite quickly, also due to the ice cold water. Someone was coming quickly, or more like running towards me. I turned around. Oh, it was Sylvia, dressed in a tracksuit. Going out for a daily run, I see? <laughs> I mean, like... Yeah, you look, you look in tip-top shape. The girl would probably look good in anything. Pioneer uniform, bikini, probably even a space suit. Space suit. Let's imagine that for a second. Space suit. Yeah, that could work, but I would put her in an Aperture Science Lab suit and put her in a test, see if she would do something. That, But that's just me. Sylvia. Hey there. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, was it... Good morning, yeah. God damn. Oh, yeah, real smooth. Yeah, I mean, like, you stumbled upon your words so much. Sylvia... Blah, blah, blah. Why didn't you come for breakfast? Well, I kind of slept until noon. Yeah, I overslept. I said it as if I was proud of my, proud about it. But Olga gave me some sandwiches. Oh, great then. Don't forget about the lineup. Oh, wait. Don't we still have our keys, right? Oh, yeah, we do. We still have our keys. Yes, yeah, sure. As if I could forget. Right, I gotta run. Enjoy yourself. She waved goodbye to me and disappeared around the path bend. Looks like I had, it's a couple of minutes until the lineup. I We still have her key. Can we give it to her? Who opened the door last time? Or did I leave the door unlocked? That's weird. He's not even questioning about it. That's like making me question myself about it now. I should quickly I should quickly pass by my home to drop off a washing bag and eat the sandwiches and then head to the square. It, I swung it open I swung open the door of the camp leader's cabin and rushed inside as if I, as if jumping into the last car of a departing train. It didn't turn out to be the best idea because inside I found Olga was ch oh my god what 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 oh my god oh no I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I froze on the spot trying not to breathe I totally forgot that we're bunking with Olga I totally forgot this oh no Oh no! Finally, the camp leader notices me. S Simon! I looked away immediately. Have you heard of knocking? Now get out! Oh god, fucking shit. Yeah, that was really, that was real clumsy. Although I did enjoy the sight. Yo. Yo, we a pervert. I mean, like, pff, I honestly, I mean, I, I, you can't, you can't lie to yourself. People, someone would, someone would enjoy seeing that. I mean, like, including me. <laughs> but, you know, let's, let's get on the story. We don't need nothing about that. Olga, Olga followed me out in a minute. Oh, God, please. Here, take this. Oh, you're calm down now? Now it's your, now it's your home, too. Oh, you gave me the keys. She handed me a key. I put it in my pocket. Home? Of course, if you disregarded how fat wait, what fantastical the current events were, this camp 
was far from being the worst place on earth, but to call it home. Just after one day spent here. I doubt I'll ever be able to do so. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. We're late. But what about the sandwiches? Just eat them on your on the way. We were passing along through the lines of pioneer cabins while I was tucking into the ham sandwich. Mmm, ham sandwiches. I would enjoy that. And Olga kept on wa t talking and talking. She was buzzing like a game of operation with Parkinson's. Oh my god. Jesus, is that like an insult? What the fuck? But I cared about nothing but the food. Jeez, wow, okay, guy, all right, understood. <laughs> Yo, we were giving a lesson and we did not listen. Damn, we zoned out hard from that food. That food must be good. Huh? You weren't listening. Sorry. Today is our first day of your new life as a pioneer. And you should do your best so that it becomes a happy life. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. I'm serious. A pioneer has many duties. Great responsibility is conferred upon him to participate in social work, to help his juniors, to study, and to study and study again. We here are all like one big family, and you will become a part of it, whether you like it or not. <laughs> yeah, a part. I'd even sign a party. I'd even sign a party membership card if it could save me from listening to this nonsense. I hope that after your t term here is over, you'll keep the most pleasant memories about our camp. Memories that will last your whole life. And when, and when will the t this term end? Why do you keep asking silly things? It seems I won't get any information from her. Yeah, because, I mean, like, we can't get any information out of any of them. Like, okay, so, we're trying to see when this time ends. But they won't give it to us. I don't, I don't, I don't understand this. The thing is, with the Second Life thing, that still, that theory still stands. But, them, it, it confuses me. A shame, really. Unless the second theory is, did we come here before, but we ignored it as a teenager, and we did not care. Is this a Second Life at the camp? This world, this world appears to be so friendly, but it never bothered to introduce itself to me. Perhaps now I can take things somewhat easier than yesterday. It seems like I have some unspoken cess affair with it. It isn't trying to hurt me, but I'm forbidden from asking questions. Of course the situation isn't a pleasant one, but what can I do about it? A bad plate, a bad piece is better than a good dispute. The most important thing for you now is to, the most important thing for you now is to make the best of the time you will spend here. I'll do my best. Honestly, I was very tired of this conversation. It would be good, it would be good to know where th that here is, but. We come, we come, we came to the square. Okay, so time is up. Like I said, I will keep these videos short enough to like make short parts and then not to make it too like long because that's kind of bad. So this was probably run about like 17 or 16 minutes or more, uh, like 20. So that's where I'm going to leave it off here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you liked it. Um, click the like button or comment below to make me to make me know if you want to see more and you know this is really getting good the whole theory about having our second chance at life is right is still standing i'm gonna mark that right now as my first theory the other theories were just like joke theories at this point this one is like legit since i'm really getting into this story like 
I was getting into the story when it started, like, when day one started to, like, increase in, like, like, you know, really, I would say increase in personality, because we only met one person, and each and every person came out as their different personality, but we did not, like, understand. Now we understand that Sylvia is the nice, like, you know, helpful one, then you have Luna, which is the quiet, shy one, which loves to read books, by the way, apparently, and likes to sit by herself. Um, and then you have Alicia, who is the violent one and the renegade type one, which I probably might go after. Who knows? Probably. Just to understand her more, because she's interesting to me. Um, and then you have the little one, um, Yelena, Yelena, the troublemaker who always loves to mess with you, run around and take your stuff or pull pranks on you. And so, she's fun to hang out with, I guess, for a friend or for a little sister, who knows. Um, and then you have, like, Olga. She's basically the strict one, the one who, like, really is, like, all about do this, do that, punctual, be punctual, be, um, respectful, you know, be well-dressed, and all that other stuff. And... It's really, it's really good how they start, you know, keeping up with their same personalities throughout the story. I wish they, they probably could keep going with this, but it could askew. Like, when you go into one person's, like, life, their life could be traumatic. They could be, like, like, happy, but in, in, um, inside sad or worried. Because with Sylvia, at the end of part four, she was looking out the window and wondering, like, is this camp, is... Is he enjoying this camp? Is this camp okay? It's like she's worried about something. But, you know, that's all it stands on. Like I said, thank you so so much for watching. Part 6 will, I mean, part 7 will be up um, momentarily when I, I'm going to do these all in a row. So I'm going to do part 7 next. And, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed. S take care, everyone, and have a good time and a good day in this world of Everlasting Summer.